After Led Zeppelin's disbandment, Jimmy Page collaborated with David Coverdale to create an album, Coverdale Page. However, the critics were not the only ones displeased with the collaboration. Page's former bandmate Robert Plant was also not shy to state his opinion on the partnership, which sparked a long-lasting feud between Coverdale and Plant. Let's dig deeper into their dispute and current relationship. Though Page was also involved in the project, Plant nicknamed Page and Coverdale's collab as David Cover Version, and accused Coverdale of not being authentic in a 1998 interview. According to Plant, even though Coverdale is a good man, his integrity was questionable. Plant harshly criticized Coverdale and his authenticity. He stated that Coverdale was too old to mimic other artists, which wasn't acceptable. If Whitesnake were a new band, he would have understood their wish to copy other artists. But at that point, it was a topic of criticism for Plant as Coverdale was not original. Plant said, If Whitesnake was a real young band who had just seen The Song Remains the Same and decided, okay, this is it, let's imitate them, I could understand it. There was a time, years ago, that I tried to mimic Elvis Presley. That's quite acceptable. But David Coverdale's nearly my age. Unfortunately, after Plant's accusations, Coverdale got very angry and uttered words that intensified and made the argument even more severe. He made some remarks about the Led Zeppelin singer for criticizing him. David Coverdale stressed that Robert Plant's comments didn't damage their relationship since they didn't have one anyway. His harsh words about not intending to help him at a time of need shocked many. Coverdale said, There is certainly no love lost between myself and Robert. I wouldn't send him cat food if he was starving. However, it seemed like in 2013, Coverdale entered the phase of forgiving and forgetting. That year, he sent a word to Plant via Jimmy Page to let him know that he was willing to become friends again. He offered to have a drink with him and talk things through so that they could finally bury the hatchet. Coverdale said, when you speak to him, offer my sincere regrets for any negative things I've ever said, which were mostly defensive. Nine years have passed since the proposal, and the good news of the two rock stars making up has still not made the headlines. Perhaps the resentment goes deeper than what was reflected in the media, or they indeed didn't have a friendship to save anyway. Either way, it is upsetting for the fans to see two vocalists haven't made peace. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below of what you think. Hit that subscribe button to never miss another story about your favorite rock star. We will see you in our next video.